Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Off the Grid. This is a quick intro to winter garden projects because I'm getting ready to start several in my garden. There's no snow behind me, but that's because I'm blessed to live in central Virginia where we typically have very mild winters, but it is winter as you can tell by all the dormant trees, the dormant grass in the fields, and the fact that in my garden, there's nothing growing. That's where we had our green beans this past year. Um, if you've been following the channel, you remember that used to have nice colorful green vines all over it. There's where our tomato plants were. There's nothing there now. I'm surrounded by, oh, that's leaf, leaf mulch uh, I'm working on. Another winter gardening project you can, you can participate in. And then there's firewood all around me because just outside my garden is also my firewood chopping area. So I was out here with my shovel getting ready to start my very first winter gardening project. And I thought, why not take you guys on a tour, give you an intro first and give you some ideas of some things you can do in your garden this winter to help beat cabin fever and be even more prepared for spring. So let's take a quick tour and then get started. So as you can see, I've started adding some organic material to my soil. This is all grass clippings I put down through here as we were finishing the grass cuttings for the uh, end of this year. Got it all the way back through here. And then also, I've been going into the forest and raking leaves and putting them in this specific area we have sectioned off here for uh, leaf mulch slash leaf mold slash uh, black gold. These are mostly oak leaves. Now this will take a couple of years for them to fully break down to be the best sort of potting type soil amendment you can use, but in six months it'll make pretty good mulch. And this is simply an area where we typically We've got chestnut trees growing by nuts. We've got some walnuts over there, oak trees that are dormant back in here. And then we've got some beautiful red buds that we put here to protect from the deer. Now, oh, and there's some birds over there. They like to come in here and stay in our Burgess bird box we built for them. But now here's what's going on with this post. Okay, we've got a big flock of chickens over there, a dozen birds. And I thought, why not split them in half and put half of them over here to work this soil in the garden this winter. So I brought in another fencing post. I'm gonna section off a small corner of the garden over here, build them a very safe and secure place to roost at night to keep them safe from the, the raccoons and the foxes, which we have an abundance around here, um, and to make sure they have some runs to stay safe from the hawks during the day. And then of course, I've gotta cover up my, my garlic here that I planted in right after Halloween. So it was either, well, it was the first part of November then. We made a video of that. It's actually coming up and doing quite well now. And I want to eat this garlic next summer. It's going to be ready around June. I don't want the chickens to get this. So I've got to put up a chicken guard here before I get that started. So we're going to bring you updates as we get through these projects. And basically what you're going to start to see as winter progresses is chickens in a coop over here who will be allowed out to free range as far as this fencing goes. We're not going to let them out in the fields. I want them to work up this soil in the garden. I want them to dig up the, the insects, churn the soil over around and uh, you know defecate of course into the soil to help fertilize it get it ready for the spring going to be taking away all the uh, guards for the for the tomato trees getting rid of our homemade uh, Japanese beetle traps which actually do work we've got a video about that you, you just mix some sugar and yeast and water and some other things works like a charm and that should keep us busy through the winter so guys if you're like me and you love to garden winter is no excuse to not garden your limit you're limited only by the limits of your imagination. If nothing else, get outside and go collect leaves, rake up leaves from all over the place and put it down all over your soil to help amend your soil for the upcoming spring. Just always remember, poplar, maple leaves, those sort of things will be ready to go in, in three or four months. You can churn them up with a tiller or whatever uh, and they'll be pretty effective in your garden. But oak leaves do take a long time to break down. They take about two years. But think about the things you can do. Can you put chickens in your garden like we're gonna do? Um, can you make some bird boxes or some root bird roosting boxes to help your little uh, feathered friends out in the cold weather this winter? There's so much you can do in the garden in the winter. Um, we'll keep you up to date with what we have going on. We just want to give you this quick intro to some of our winter gardening projects. And we thank you for being with us here at Homesteading Off the Grid. And we'll see you for more next time.